on TVW, we have been exploring some of the very best in Wisconsin homes. And when you're building or designing a home, there's a lot to know and there's a lot of people on the team. We're gonna learn a little bit about how that all works today. And we've got Abe Degnan here. He's with Degnan Design, Build, Remodel. Thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely, glad to be here. There's a lot to know. And boy, you do, you have a lot of people on the team. Let's talk a little bit about the team and how that works at Degnan. Yeah, you bet. So I have three designers. I have uh, two lead carpenters. I have three youth apprentices, uh, and then my production manager and my office manager. So wow. there are there's 10 of us in total. There's a lot that goes into the planning process, though, the actual execution. So you need a team that you can trust that can work well together. Right on. Yes. So let's go into a little more detail about your design team and their roles because there is so much to, to it, really. Who specifically are your designers and what, what do they do each day? Yeah, you bet. So, you know, the first person that most people talk to is talking to me. Um, and so, so I have kind of the visionary role and the big picture role working on uh, the budget and things like that. But on a day-to-day -day basis, once they get started, uh, they're going to be working with Dave Duell, my senior designer, okay. uh, for most of their design process. And then uh, Kelly Johnson is my design and estimating coordinator. and she She's highly involved as well. You know, that's one of the big parts that I think about when I think about this process is the estimating process. And that's one that, you know, I'm sort of mystified by. How kind of demystify the estimating process, how that all works for viewers who are thinking about doing something like this. Yeah, so it's really good to have a good estimate. It's important because that is where everything comes together. So my production manager, Anthony Caracci, is the one who knows the most about the construction and puts together the estimate and scope of work. So um, Kelly's job is kind of to deliver everything between Dave and Anthony in order to make sure that we've got all the I's dotted and the T's crossed and make sure then that Anthony is able to prepare that thorough and accurate scope of work and do all the investigation to make sure that we minimize the risk of change orders when we're doing a remodeling project. Absolutely, yeah, you don't want that estimate to be far off your initial no. guesses, right? Or your thoughts of what it's gonna be because that could lead to some uncomfortable things down the line. Yeah, yeah. you don't want that sudden sticker shock. So when do you then find out how much it's gonna cost? Because I'm sure people are anxious to know that as soon as they can. Absolutely, so you know, we start out from the very beginning talking about money. It's actually one of the things that, that we use as a trust building technique in order to be open and honest between uh, our clients and us, we talk about money from the very first conversation because it's really important to find out what people are expecting to spend and compare it to what um, a reasonable ballpark budget is to get a guess of whether we're even on the same page or not. So uh, that is the first step. Uh, then as we go through the design process, my job is to make sure that I've given the designers and our clients uh, the, the right ballpark park that we're headed for and help them to design the project that is going to achieve the budget that the clients are prepared for. Um, and sometimes what we need to do is we need to work through options. We need to, uh, if, if the clients ask for something, Dave and Kelly are really good at saying, yes, we can do that, but it's going to be more expensive than what you told us that you wanted to spend. And we give the clients the ability to say yes or to say no, and we'll keep them on track or we'll allow them to explore their dreams and increase their budget if they decide to. That's really got to increase their comfort level so they can really focus on the end result in this you know, this dream that they're creating. Absolutely. To be comfortable with that. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the part that gets us excited, right? The end result, we get mm -hmm. to live in the home, it gets to be ours. And one of the things that we think about, or at least I do when I'm thinking about building a home or remodeling a home is the structure of it, the architecture. But then when it gets to the interior work, I get a little bit stuck myself there too. Is that something that you can help with? It is, you know, um, when we do design build, we are really looking at the holistic thing. Uh, we are looking at the flow, the way the furniture lays out in a room, the way that you want to use the room. Does your family like a formal dining room or not? Things of that sort. Um, and th it's so much more than just that because it's about the way the lighting works, it's about your paint colors, it's about your flooring, it's about your, 
your furniture and your end tables and your lamps and all that sort of stuff. So when clients want to go into that, we're happy to do it and we've got the expertise. So you can actually help with interior work. Yeah, you'd hate to build something that looks so beautiful on paper, then you go to put a couch in that you really want and it doesn't work in the space. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have that help. What's a good first step as we head into break here for someone who's thinking about having this kind of work done? Well, they're going to want to go to our website and, uh, and make an appointment with us. Um, and you know, I always like showing examples of my work. So one of our recent projects, we really got into the textures, the materials, the owner's preferences, creating this beautiful bar. And uh, so I know they're going to flash some pictures up on screen to show that off and make sure that people can visit our website to see more info about it. It's fun to see those. Yeah, yeah, the work speak for itself. Thanks so much, Abe, for joining us today. Be sure to appreciate it. Thank you, Stacy, for being here too. Absolutely. We'll be right back with more after the break. Stick with us. Thank you.